It's time for another great movie episode, and this one's on White from the Three Colors Trilogy by the great Polish director Krzysztof Kieslowski, one of my absolute favorites. Let's dive into White, the middle movie in the Three Colors Trilogy, to see what it's about. I'm going to review it and analyze it for you, and I hope, and I think this is going to be the case, you will appreciate this movie a lot better once you see this video. So keep watching for White, coming up next. <laughs> White is the middle movie in Kieslowski's Three Colors trilogy, made in 1994. And I, when I read around the internet, a lot of people are saying, you know, this is the least or the worst of the Three Colors trilogy movies. Now, first, that's not saying much because I think the Three Colors trilogy is one of the top, you know, trilogies ever. But, you know, as far as the individual movies in them, fantastic movies, all of them. So to call White the least of the trilogy really isn't saying that much. Also, I think it's one of the you know greatest movies of the 1990s for sure. Let's dig into White though, what's it about? Now in contrast to the first movie in the trilogy, Blue, which I've argued elsewhere in another video, is more or less plotless. White has a lot, a whole lot of plot. Now maybe the sprawling plot and the time lapses in it are what annoy viewers of this movie or make them say it's the least of the trilogy. I think this movie is very heavily a meditation on the ideal, the French revolutionary ideal it's attached to, which is equality. White is all about equality in a lot of ways. It's about more than that, but let me riff on the all the equality themes going on here. First, you have a Polish man, as the movie opens, Carol Carol, an interesting double name, and he's in France to go divorce his wife. He's, you see him going to the courtroom in France at first. Now already, if you think of the term equality, you might think of equality of finances or equality of opportunity, but in the first five minutes in the courtroom scene, we bring up different topics surrounding equality. For example, equality of the sexes, male versus female, equality between uh, outsiders and insiders or foreigners and citizens. Here you have a Polish man in a French court. And then you have equality between nations. This is a crucial thing to think about with this movie because the Polish man, Carol Carroll, in this movie is a representative type of maybe Poland in general. And then the French wife, played by Julie Delpy, is a type of France. And you see them wanting to get together in this movie, but at first falling apart and then trying to get together. Now remember, this is happening, this movie is released and made around the time of the early European Union efforts in the early 1990s in the post-communist world. And Poland has been released from communism, is now trying to figure out what it's doing. And so Poland is going to, you know, think about joining the European Union. And in a way, this movie is a meditation on that. What happens if Poland unites itself with, say, in this movie at least, France, or France as representing the whole of Europe? Should Poland become the equal, or is Poland the equal of the other nations in Europe? Now, I know this is a deeply personal movie about a personal man, and or an individual man, and individual woman, but as I said, they're representative types, and there's a lot of symbolism about Poland in general versus France. As well, you probably know that Kieślowski, you know, lived in both places, made movies in both places, and so he might feel like one, a natural born Pole, like Carol Carroll in this movie, and then a Frenchman or a person in France as well. So maybe this movie is partly autobiographical too. Turns out White is one of the funnier, I think, Kieślowski movies, who is a funny director if you're looking for it. And the first thing that happens in this movie is Carol Carroll is pooped on by a bird. I think one of the first white images, this is a recurring color white, obviously throughout this movie, but the bird poop coming down from above on Carol Carol, very funny and it initiates a lot of humor, although maybe sad and dark humor. Now Carol Carol does not want to divorce his French wife, but she wants to divorce him. At one point as he's in France, you know, she accuses him or wants to falsely accuse him of arson. Eventually his credit card is confiscated and he becomes dirt poor. He has no money to get back to Poland. He ends up playing a comb in the airport to try to earn money to get back to Poland. While he's doing this, a fellow Pole comes up to him, recognizing the song he's playing, starts talking to him. And then Carol Carroll gets involved in a scheme with this fellow Pole where the guy says, well, I've got a task for you. It's gonna pay you a lot of money, six months worth of wages, but what you got to do is kill somebody. 
Now, this is not a hit job. It's actually the man wants to die, but doesn't want to kill himself. So will Carol Carol, completely impoverished and downtrodden, take the job in order to earn a lot of money? That's one of the plots and one of the relationships in this. Later, Carol Carol gets shipped back to Poland in a suitcase. The suitcase gets stolen by thieves at the airport. They go and open it up, and there's a great welcome to Poland moment that's at once bitter and sad and wry. I just love that, that moment when Carol Carol finally gets out of the suitcase and finds himself in Poland. <laughs> As I said, the movie is about equality, but all kinds of equality. Now, now a lot of this movie is about financial inequalities. Carol Carroll is going to involve himself in scams, sort of insider trading. He's going to accumulate a lot of property and wealth, and he's going to become a very rich man. So you see him move from a poor man to a rich man. One of the ideas coming to this movie is that we ourselves can never achieve equality in ourselves. We're always changing. Obviously, the world's changing, but we are too. And so we're not the equal of ourselves. We're aging, so maybe we get better, maybe we get worse health-wise, but that comes up in this movie a lot. And then the major question is, if we can't be equals over time with ourselves, how can we make equals between peoples? How can a government, say, make people equal? This movie is at once maybe, maybe attack on some notions, grand notions of equality, but it also brings up the question of fairness. And you do feel, I think empathetically for Carol Carroll, by the way, who has an equal first and last name, Carol Carroll, you feel for him and you want him to, you know, maybe get revenge on his wife who's rejected him or his ex-wife who, who's been very cruel to him. And he enacts, as you can see at the end of the movie, an eye for an eye scheme to maybe get her back or win her back. Do you know what eye for an eye means? You know, there's a lot of law and legal stuff and all of Kieslowski movies go back to the Decalogue, which is all about law in a way, or the theme is law. And here you have the question of eye for an eye justice. And is that really equal? You know, eye for an eye is an equal idea or an equalizing idea. You take $100 from me, you must give it back to me if you stole it from me, probably with some recompense too. But whatever you dish out, whatever crime you commit, you should have that happen back to you. The question is, can justice ever really give equality First through the law, but second through you know individual or vigilante means, as Carol Carroll tries to do with his rather amusing, in part amusing schemes in this movie. So now all at once, here's what I'm talking about. Here's why this movie's great. You've got the equality between these individuals, man and woman, or non-equality. You got a Polish person versus a French person in this movie. You got life versus death in this movie. You know, Carol Carroll, he's living and wants to live, but will he kill this man? who wants to pay him to kill him off. Uh, then you've got the question of the equality between nations, Poland and France. And then you've got the bigger question, nations in general within a union, a European union. And I hope you can see, this is what I'm riffing on, that the marriage problems in this movie are akin to or analogized to, directly, explicitly in the movie, to uh, unions between nations. When they come together and form some legal charter, say, in the European Union, the equality is such a humongous value. It might even be called a great god of the world. So many people and so many corporations and governments are striving for an equality they can't get. We all, you know, the word equal comes up in American politics all the time. Then the question is, is this really a value that can be enacted in the real world with this movie, which is at once amusing, but you know, Carol Carroll, he is in debt to his brother. You know, he's been tricked and messed with by his uh, ex-wife. He is tricking other people, right? And he's buying property from property owners who he knows could get more money if they sold it to somebody else. And there's all kinds of things like that where there are unequal relationships, unequal deals in this movie. Is equality, any kind of equality, even possible? I think the movie at one point answers yes, it's late in the movie, it fades to white, 
you ought to see this movie to see the fade to white. I'm not going to give it away for the people who have not seen this movie, but go watch this movie and look for the fade to white. That might be the moment of equality, and it's worth exploring what that means. I love the ending to this movie. I think it's really, really interesting what happens. You get the man and the woman sort of connecting at the end, but sort of not. So many of Kieslowski's movies are about communication, failure to communicate. You know, phones play a big part in all of his movies, especially the Three Color Trilogy. And at the end, you see not phones, but long distance communication via sign language. And can that be interpreted properly? It's a very interesting final scene. I love this movie a lot. If you want me to do a video on the end or on the fade to white thing, I'm happy to go in depth in this movie. But I'll leave it there and let you, you know, in the comments, let us know what you think of white or the Three Colors trilogy or its place in the trilogy in general. Please subscribe to my channel for more great movie content and go see my uh, my other videos on blue and on red in the trilogy. I just love this trilogy. I think it's great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.